welcome, I'm fucking back. You know what 2020 gave me? It fucking gave me depression and it gave me anxiety. But you know what? You know what bad bitches do? They, they glow up. But bad bitches just glow up. First of all, let me just say the last time I posted a video, I was 17 years old. <laughs> I am about to turn 21 in like two weeks. I used to be very, very kind and like very happy and like into makeup and dressing up and stuff like that. And I was doing that and I noticed that people do not like when you love yourself. People do not like when you have confidence. People really want to bring you down. If you're going through a situation where people are bullying you and gaslighting you and manipulating the fuck out of you, you need to just keep in mind that these people, they are not happy with themselves. They are not happy in their self-esteem. They're not happy with their life at home. They're not happy with their relationships. I ended a five-year relationship, which, you know, that sucks. And then I did a rebound with a dude that I thought looked like Harry Styles. Bro, I only liked him because his fucking hair and because of his one black outfit that he would wear all the fucking time. I kind of have had PTSD for a while. Um, because I seen someone die and it was like an accident and then like I was involved in it and like yeah, so uh, Had a lot of shit wrong with me and these These friends that I met these this year they would they fucking Were hella like telling me to like not talk about it Like there's a situation where I got really like drunk and I started confessing my feelings about you know this rebound person or whatever and I started talking about, you know, my traumatic experience. I was fucking drunk, bro. And they they didn't tell me about it. Can you believe that? I don't remember. I blacked out. They didn't even tell me about it. I had to find out from someone who didn't even, who wasn't even at the fucking party. It wasn't even a party, but <laughs> it was a little, you know, get together, hang out. Yeah, so that's just like a little tip of the iceberg that I, that I had to deal with this year. Recently, two weeks ago, or a week or something ago, I don't even know how long ago it was, I had to literally end a toxic friendship with someone who I considered, you know, was like my ride or die, but at the end of the day, I was only ride or dying for her, and she wasn't doing the same for me. I pendeja. Sometimes I, like, post, like, really quirky stuff, and she would, like, kind of make fun of me for it, or, like, she'll, she would throw a little shade, like, oh, this is why you don't have friends, and, like, at first I was like, ah, ha, ha, we're just friends fucking talking shit to each other. At the end of the day, someone who was really genuinely your friend, they're not doing shit like that, like, all the time. I knew the friendship was expired once she wanted to be friends again with the people who hurt me. You know what? I'm not gonna be that bitch. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Nope. You wanna be friends with them? You go right ahead. I'll let you go. So I called her up one day. You know what? We shouldn't carpool together because we work together. I'm not gonna carpool with you anymore. We're talking for a little bit. And then she hangs up. She calls me back again. And she's all like, fuck you. And I'm like, oh, okay. And yeah, she's all like, we could, we don't have to be friends, but we could carpool together. bitch to you you're right i am a dumb bitch but not anymore i i don't even feel bad this the thing is bro i literally spent almost every day for like a whole year with this friend and i feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders i i felt like i was changing around her i felt very depressed and sad Ugh, relationships oh my god let me just say men ain't shit <gasps> so i was talking to this dude right we was so good bro everything was perfect until we couldn't come to an agreement about something we decided to end things tire pressure sensor fault it's okay everything's gonna be fine i ain't gonna die today i wasn't like sad sad because we didn't end bad like there was nothing for me to be sad about like if anything he was showing me like what a model relationship or a model guy 
of what I wanted to be with. He was acting. He was doing that. <sighs> and then he calls me a few days later after we ended things. But then he's like, oh, but I added my ex back. seen any of my videos since I've posted them ah! I'm one of those people I can make friends with strangers if you like me and you want to be my friend actually message me and hit me up hi nice to meet you I'm Josie what's your name um yeah so hit me up on Instagram Instagram TikTok candy joker with two eyes when I get home I'm gonna charge my phone and then I'm gonna probably call some tattoo parlor shops and see if they're open if they're gonna accept any piercing walk-ins and we'll see if at the end of the day i'm a new bitch we're gonna find out today epidemic tattoo this is kristen hi um i was wondering if you're accepting walk-ins for nose piercings um we do our piercer is just off today it's bitch i want one today Right now. Good afternoon, Century. Hi, um, are you guys accepting walk-ins for nose piercings? Um, today? Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me hold on. Yes, she is, and she said anytime before six. <laughs> My mom is gonna be so mad. As a parent, yes, it doesn't matter that you're still a young adult and your decisions are foggy sometimes. So, yes, I do need to know where my daughter's at at all times. Thank you very much. So, what would happen if I lied to you? Well, that's on you being a little liar. Oh! Did I teach you to be a liar? Like, no. No, you didn't. Okay. Because you raised me right, mom. Okay. That shit fucking hurted, bro. Um, I'm super scared I might get a fucking keloid, but I think that just might be in my head. That's just my anxiety talking. I'm not gonna get, I'm not, I'm not going to get a fucking keloid on my fucking nose. Okay? 
it's, it's just not gonna happen it's not in the cards in my life I don't regret it my mom she just looked at me and she was all like why are you gonna add another hole to your face <laughs> so my mom loves me oh yeah that's not a booger I got the spiral one because knowing me I, I lose I, I might lose it like and I, I'm just it's just easier to fucking have that booger that booger right there um so when this heals in a few weeks when it heals completely I want to change it out into a hoop because I want to be looking jeweled out on my face and who knows maybe this weekend meaning today or tomorrow I might get more and I kind of want some of my ears I don't know I just think the look is so cute but yeah I just wanted to end this video on a positive note I am feeling very fucking good today it's been fucking great I I didn't even really put on makeup I just put on mascara and I feel like a bad bitch and uh today's one of those days where my like my confidence is really oozing out of me I oh my god I got stopped by a police officer today because I was going 70 and a 40 oh my god like it was so fucking nerve-wracking um yeah when it happened i was just like fuck today's the day today's the day i'm gonna get a ticket and this never happened before so I, I was just like you know what fuck it it's life i live with my parents i don't got other bills to pay i could handle a fucking ticket but the police officer was really nice um he let me off with the warning and i was i asked him i was like uh so that's it yeah and i'm like okay have a nice day i don't fucking like this dude over here hold on yeah walk away a bit another thing that happened was that someone came up to me and said i just seen a ghost there ain't no damn fucking ghost at walmart if you want my number just say it i mean I'm not gonna give it to you anyways, but anyways, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week, rest of the month, rest of the fucking year. Let's end 2020 with a motherfucking bang. Fuck all the negativity, bro. Fuck all the negativity. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.